I make my speech quite short and give the specialist a bit longer time. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by extending on behalf of the organizing committee and people of Turkey a very warm welcome to all participants from various countries. We are delighted and honored to host this International Congress and Exhibition on Natural Cataclysms and Global Problems of the Modern Civilization here in beautiful city of Istanbul. I realize that we are fully dedicated to the sessions you will follow. But I do hope you will also take time to enjoy fascinating Istanbul with its historical places, friendly people and delicious cuisine. Distinguished guests, disaster risk is on the rise throughout the world. The economic losses and the number of people who have been affected by the natural disasters, including earthquake, tsunami, flood, and coastal erosion, wildfires, landslides, have increased dramatically over the past decades than both economic and population growth. These will obviously slow the economic growth of the affected country. The physical, social, and economic losses caused by these disasters are particularly more expensive for developing countries. To reduce the effects of natural disasters and human losses in particular, proactive disaster risk management should be promoted in a multidisciplinary way. To meet this need, disaster management experts must be cultivated through professional education and training so that they may develop and then apply suitable disaster management policies and techniques in line with local conditions. It's known that the natural disasters such as earthquake occur as a result of natural event. There's no way of preventing the occurrence of an earthquake. Nevertheless, the negative effect of an earthquake can be reduced. Local institutions as well as international ones can take some measures to reduce the potential hazards before and after the event. Therefore, I find this Congress crucially important considering that leading scientists and specialists in the field come together to discuss the problems resulting from severe natural calamities and the possible ways of joint elimination of such problems in all dimensions. I hope the Congress will highlight possible avenues for cooperation between countries and also come up with beneficial cutting edge resolutions, as well as more efficient international coordination of activities during and after natural calamities. In closing, I wish to express my gratitude to all the members of organizing committee, delegates and observers for their full cooperation and contribution to this Congress. I would like to finish my words with wishing the participants a very fruitful and productive meeting. Thank you for your attention.